Hello. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a few days. <clears throat> Found myself under the weather the past couple days, but I am back. We're going to try a new brew. The season recently reset, and we are out of Mythic, along with everybody else. We are in Platinum 4, so we're going to try something a little bit of a variation on Is It Dragons today. We're just going to cut out the blue. We're just going to go straight for the throat with Mono Red. Dragons. There's a really popular alchemy build that has mono red dragons in it. Sadly, we do not have the fearsome whelp like they do, but we do have Orb of Dragonkind and Magda Brazen Outlaw. If we can get those down on turn two, they make our ramping into our dragons a little bit easier. Um, let's go through the whole deck list before we begin. Four Frostbites. We've got three snow covered lands. We can do three damage with one mana. Super efficient. Three, Light Up the Night. I've been brewing, experimenting with this card. I think it's pretty good. One red and X. X is any amount of damage to any uh, to a, to any target. If it's a creature, a Planeswalker does X plus one. So that means if you're really in a tight spot, you can tap a mountain and then two mountains and deal three damage to something for three. Four damage for three. So, uh, three total cost. And uh, it's, it's decently efficient when you need it in a tight spot. We're packing four Cinderclasm because we're facing a lot of mono white. We have a lot of X1s, X2s in the format, particularly with Selesnya Life Gain, Voice of the Blessed, things like that. We have four Magdas because we want to get this down on turn two. Even if we have to swing into the opponent and maybe they trade or maybe they kill this, we want the treasure because we know we want our dragons as soon as possible. Four Orbs of Dragonkind. Again, turn two ramps your dragons. But you can also later sack it uh, for one red and then grab a dragon can be for a finisher. We got four smoldering eggs. If we rack up seven counters, sec, uh, seven mana value total on this was a 4-4 four, four flying dragon with a little bit of upside. We've got Chandra dressed to kill. We have two of her. The main thing with her we're looking for is again ramp early game. Turn three, drop it. Take up one, deal one damage to them or Planeswalker and add a mountain. Good for turn three Chandra into Frostbite or turn four Chandra into uh, something else like an Egg or Cinderclasm. Three Mana Form Hellkites. Two Unexpected Windfalls for whenever we run out of cards. We want to refill our hand and get some treasure. Four Goldspan Dragons, two Infernos of the Star Mounts, namely because they can't be countered and they have haste. To drop in for a lethal threat. We're going to be doing best of one tonight. We have three dens of the bugbear to add some pressure when we need it. Here's where we're starting. Platinum tier four, three pips in. So let's get to it. Okay, not the greatest starting hand. Three lands, two cinderclasms, maniform hellkite, and gold span. We're on the draw. Let's keep it. Seems kind of hard mode. If they're playing aggro, this is cool. Ooh. So they're gonna get rid of our Cinderclasm. I don't know what they're playing. They play Dreadfuge. Some sort of like mono black discard. There's curtains. Okay. Cinderclasm is not gonna help us against concealing curtains. So they have one black source. They're going to transform this into a 3-4 menace. Discard what? Light up the night? I want to get rid of that Hellkite. Yeah. Okay. Coming in for three. Got it. Frostbite for three doesn't take care of it. Light up the night still only does three, so we have to chill. This is interesting. I like playing against these kind of decks because I don't see them that often anymore. They've discarded two of our cards. Acquisitions expert. Okay. So they have one rogue. We get to reveal one card to them. Let's make it. Cinderclasm. I don't see that's helping us here. I 
Coming in for three. We'll go to 14. Mountain. We have to stop this damage. Go three here. Stop the bleeding. Make way for our gold span next turn. Discard two. I guess it's going to be Frostbite and Mountain. Coming in for one. Okay. Show them that we can swing back as well. We also know a thing or two about damage. More curtains instantly transform? No. Here's an inferno. Tight. Could have instant removal for that, so we're not pumping until we're ready. Let's go in for 10. Uh, do we pump here? They'll take... Yeah, I guess we do pump at least two, right? To make sure that gold span is lethal next turn. So if they take the Inferno out, then if we hit here, then they'll only have four left. Yeah, that seems right. Disputing their rogue. Must need that mana, they're going to one. Blood on the snow, all right. So we need to draw one of our hasty threats to close this out. We can draw light up the night. And instead we draw land, all right. Actually, if we draw Chandra, we can close this out too. Just go ping for one. Six mana available, three black sources. Here's a lantern. Okay, we'll sack the treasure token. I'll use Den of the Bugbear. That'll work next turn. Although, if they keep mana up, we'll sacrifice this treasure. If they keep mana up for their Field of Ruin, Den of the Bugbear is not going to do anything. But we have outs. We have Light of the Night. We have another Goldspan. We have an Inferno of the Star Mounts. We have Chandra. We have all kinds of things. Instead, we get a mountain. Okay. I guess we just keep that to block and make them... They transform the curtains. Well, that is Menace, right? That's Menace, anyway. Okay, that'll thin our deck out a little bit, but we do need to be drawing one of these threats soon here. Gotta have faith in the deck. So many outs. Oh, they're gonna transform the curtains. They're gonna get us! Did they miss it? No, oh, no, they're gonna tap it again. Yep, they're gonna get us. Ouch! Took them to one. We just need to do one more damage. All right, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. We're on the draw again. We have Frostbite, Light Up the Night, and Hellkite. Okay. We have some early removal. We want to draw our Orb, or we want to draw maybe a Magda. And we draw a Hellkite. All right. Two snowy islands. 
for the frostbite. Okay. Spectral adversary comes down. Resolve that, and let's take it out. So what could this be? Mono blue spirits? Oh, there's a werewolf. Let's get rid of that. Okay, here's an orb. We like to see that. Ascended spirit. King of the spirits. Okay. Sure. That happens. Back in the hand. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is what, gonna be a 4 4 if they want to spend that mana. They got teachings also. So, if they draw land, put it down, they can make this a 4 4. They choose to save the 2 mana. Totally get it. Spirit goes goodbye. We have the mana now that we'll probably sack that orb, see if we can get a gold span. Yeah, we'll take the gold span, we'll try to throw that out. Could do the Chandra. Chandra ping him for one gives us three mana left over, and we could throw a Magda out. That also sets up our light up the night. They can what tap three and make this a three toughness. Yeah, let's do this. If they have a counter, a counter Chandra. Ping them for one. Dress means I didn't come here to fight. Throw Magd out. You're looking a little singed. Okay, so they countered the. Hmm. I never thought about this. Can we cast this X plus zero plus one to a creature? I mean, let's let's give it a shot. Why not pay zero? They got a one one. Does that work? My God, it does. So there you go. If you need to take a, take out a 1-1, one, one, you just pay zero for Light of the Night. No big deal. There we go. There's the win we were looking for. Okay, we're on the draw again. Arena's saying hard mode only tonight. Alright. So, we have Orb to help with our dragons. We have a Frostbite turn one if we need it. Gotta hope to draw a little bit of mana. Lunark Veteran, do we care? Let's wait. See what they cast. If they cast like a Voice of the Blessed, we'll just Frostbite that out immediately. Fair class. Alright. Minister. 
Okay, let's do this. thing is we need to draw a mana I don't think egg is probably the right play here because we can take a few hits let's take let's sort orb fam. Minister will probably just tap to gain the life, right? Yeah. Counter on Aspirant itself. So that means our play is pretty obvious next turn if we draw a land. We did not. Crap. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Red. Red. Egg. Frostbite. You know, what would be cool right now if we had land in a Cinderclasm, but I have a feeling that we're going to just draw that too late. Counter there. If we can manage to get there's a land if we can manage to get our gold span out and start generating some treasure tokens we could we would be okay all right so go magda let's light up the night for zero right here One more land gets us a gold span. We can also go in with Magda and then gold span post combat. But we'd rather swing. They do have Righteous Valkyrie mana, which could be a problem if we don't get gold span online soon. orb, right? No. On that. Alright. Veteran can come down as a 1-1 flyer. Or a third aspirant. Always a good option. Kind of there. Here's a land. Alright. Let's go. Treasures. We'll trade the uh, we'll trade Magda for the Aspirin. Where deal? No. There's another orb. Cathar on gold span. Okay.
on gold span. Yes. On Magda. Okay. They either know something I don't. They're going to do something that I'm not anticipating or... Something. Man for five. Okay. Let's sack. If we can grab a dragon. Yep, we'll grab another gold span. So we're looking at maybe eight damage. Valkyrie in tow. All right. So let's see if they go after Chandra. They do not. Okay. Let's exile a red card. The land. Who needs a plan? Just improvise. Okay. Sack the orb. We got an inferno, the star mounts. Alright. One, two, three, four, seven. Yeah. Let's go in. One will bounce off the Valkyrie. Or not. So we cast this, then we filter it for two, three, four, five, six, right? Yep. See what happens. So if they play their Lunark Veteran, they'll have two blockers in the air. Another Righteous Valkyrie. Alright, that's four. That brings them to ten. And that will bring them to twelve when they tap Minister. Twelve. Hopefully Chandra can exile us something good. Magda. Okay, let's exile. Another Chandra. So I'm a little hot headed. So what? Okay. Light up the night. Flashback for four. Remove X loyalty counters you may you control. You may cast the spell X. May not be zero. So we can remove six loyalty counters from Chandra and hit them in the face, bringing them to six life. I don't think it's not, it's not going to be enough. Okay, let's do this instead. Remove four loyalty counters from Chandra. Ooh, payback's gonna be spicy. Get rid of that. They have to block the Inferno, right? Because they know we're gonna pump it. That's ten. Yeah, so we're pumping now. an inferno this should be 12 we lit up the night okay that was actually a satisfying win we're using light up the night with Chandra 
I thought that was sort of a fringe benefit of having that in the deck. I didn't think that it would actually matter to deal the final blow. So basically, if you if you didn't see that, because this is not like a really commonly played card, Light of the Night, X in a Mountain, does X plus one if it's a creature or Planeswalker you're targeting, but you can hit their face with it. But you can flash it back for four, so you pay four mana and you remove X loyalty counters from a Planeswalker that you control. It doesn't have to be Chandra, it can be any Planeswalker. So we plus Chandra, exile the mountain, which we couldn't play. Then we removed four loyalty counters and blew up their 3-5 uh, angel so we could get in for more. Satisfying. Let's go again. See if we can light up the net again. Lighten up that old net there. Taking the net and lighting it up. That's how we do it. Okay. Ooh. That could be fun. We have a Cinder Clasm. Wish this was a Gold Span or a Maniform Hellkite, but, you know, whatever. Let's see if we're playing aggro. Cinder Clasm also, by the way, if you're playing uh, Is It Epiphany, they make a ton of birds, and you, you, you have a feeling that they're going to do it. They make a ton of birds. And you keep two mana up and you just blow them all out with Cinderclasm. That's satisfying. Alright, Lunark Veteran. Let's throw down Orb so we can Cinderclasm next turn for... Well, depends. Guess we'll take that chance. If they throw down Voice of the Blessed, it'll already be at three, which will be a pain. But we're going to count on them not doing that. And try to ramp into our Dragon. That'd be a hell of a curve. We're gonna hope they don't have it. If they have a uh, Luminarch Aspirant, that's that would be great, actually. We'll just blow both of those out. Doesn't guarantee we're gonna win, but it does guarantee we're gonna do this. Taking the orb. Another Lunark veteran. Here's a light up the night. Let's throw an orb down. Uh, that's sorcery. Do we want? Do we care about veteran? They can fly, disturb it for two. Kind of a, kind of a pain. Uh, let's save the light of the night. We'll throw Inferno down next turn. Hopefully they don't have a brutal Cathar. Ugh. Okay. Don't like it. There's another light up the night. Let's let's get to going here. They have one card in hand, but they could they could start pumping some damage for sure with Faceless Haven, Magda. Uh. Throw up Magda. This thing's gonna be annoying whenever they start. Uh, well, how many creatures can they lay down? They only have one. I'll just say go. We'll see if we can smash them again and then light up the night and finish them off. So like we'll go in with okay so we'll go in with magda to generate the treasure oh my god the life gains out of control that's good that's a good screenshot right there
four four. All right, five five flyer. We can take care of that. That's just a pain in the ass. Okay, no blocks. Where we at? Then to the bugbear. Okay, let's go. Oh, I guess do we give him opportunity to block, or are we just trying to hammer damage in? Their life total was ten. I guess we're just trying to hammer, right? They don't block. We'll pump dragon. But they block there. So what is this? Get your upkeep, draw a card if you're the way. So if their life total is ten. Oh, greater than or equal. So even if we pump to do eight damage, they're still gonna draw a card. All right. So then we'll just sack the orb. Hopefully get a, a gold span or something, and we'll just go go in from there. Right, or, or, we light up the knight for one on their veteran and just kill it. Nah, save that. Coming in with Haven, that means six to us, brings us to eight. Hold on, though. If they don't get any life, does that mean that we just kill them? Five, six, seven. Doesn't that mean they just die unless they have an instant? Try. It's gonna be a huge blowout if they have an instant. I don't know what white instant they would have other than Valorous Stance. They have one card in hand. Do we really count on them having Valorous Stance? Negative. We can't be afraid of the Valorous Stance when there's one card in hand. Do one more. We're three and one. Then we'll probably be back at it again tomorrow with something else. All right. So Magda, we're on the play. Turn two, Magda. If it survives, we attack. On turn three, we have four mana for Hellkite or Windfall. If it doesn't, yeah, we're a little slow, but that's gonna happen whenever you have some ramp to get out big things. Sometimes they get blown out. There's another Magda. Raise an outlaw. Okay, we don't actually care about Magda, so that's fine. We'll attack. Trade for a pest. Up a hell kite. Hopefully they don't have removal. They do, not the end of the world, but so if we draw an untapped land, then we windfall and make another nasty off the hell kite. Okay. Alright, let's go bugbear and magda. Sciences. Alright, so we have things we have to be concerned about. Lolf. Um
both in Meat Hook Massacre. Alright, so let's go in and make some treasure. Depending on what they do, we might use this treasure to windfall away our other den and load up a couple cards. Depends on what they do, though. Because we're getting to the point now where we're pretty comfortable on mana, so the den of the bugbear is not super helpful for us. Sciences, land. Alright. Swamp. What can they do with. Another eye twitch. Okay, they're buying time to meat hook. Yes. So they want to get to six. Okay, so we don't have that much time. Let's do it. Seriously? not allow them to block because we need to really hammer damage through. They're stalling. It's pretty clear they're stalling for time. Yep. There's a bowl. Are you enraptured by my beauty? Oh, its subservience will be rewarded. Okay. Let's drop this. Back. Find a dragon. Come on, baby. Inferno. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so they could double block gold span, but they'll still take seven from Inferno, and they won't be able to meat hook it, and then they won't actually have a creature to necrotic fumes. So, let's go face. Uh, we might be able to kill them here. They have to block one Inferno, right? Yeah. It, if they drop a land, their meat hook does four. That kills everything but Inferno. But they have to tap out to do it. I'm sure you'll miss me. And okay. I, the generous Another wolf. All right, making a bunch of spiders. Envy the strong. Okay. For they consume the weak. They're doing a great job of stalling for time. I will my take my hat off to annihilation. That. Okay, bugbear, load it up. Base. Okay, that gives them five counters on their load. So they're able to make I will, I will. Yeah. Do what two I more. Will slay our enemies. Merchant. So they're planning on using Merchant to block Den of the Bugbear, I assume. There's two spiders. I will cull the weak. Okay, three mana available. Another Skullport Merchant. Cinderclasm. A 
there's a pole. I love it. Subservience, I will get what I want. Base, sorry, Soren. There you have it. Cinderclasm in for the win. Finishing out the night up to Platinum 3. Guys, I really, and girls, I really appreciate you hanging out in the channel. Uh, if you like the video, you like the deck, I'm going to post a deck list of the, with the edited video. I'm going to cut out all of the dead space in the middle. That'll be up in like a couple hours. So if you subscribe, you'll uh, get notified when that comes up. And then if you do subscribe, it helps the channel and it helps me to bring more content and uh, further develop it. So I appreciate you hanging out tonight. Thank you very much for viewing. And I will see you next time where we're going to continue trying to climb this ladder.